In this video, we are going to see introduction to company accounts that is a issue of share capital. Before we go for the problem, let us see the basic term which is used in the issue of share capital. Okay, now we have uh, the various terms used in connection with the capital of the company. Okay, the first one is uh, authorized share capital. Authorized share capital means uh, uh, this is the maximum amount of capital which a company is authorized to raise from the public. It can be called as registered capital. For example, the company can raise uh, 10 lakhs rupees as capital divided into 1 lakh shares 1 lakh shares at the rate of rupees 10 each this is called as authorized or registered share capital that the company can raise maximum of 10 lakh rupees by way of issuing 1 lakh shares at 10 rupees each. Okay, this is called as authorized or registered share capital. Then there are two divisions under authorized share capital. The first one is issued capital, another one is unissued capital. Issued capital means this represents a part of authorized capital which is issued to general public for subscription. For example, the company can offer maximum of 1 lakh shares. No, out of 1 lakh shares, initially they can issue 80 thousand shares each share value 10 rupees no so 80 into 10 rupees they can raise 8 lakhs okay so this is called as issued capital it is a part of authorized share capital then unissued capital means uh, it is a difference between authorized shares and issued shares in our example 1 lakh shares are there no so out of 1 lakh shares we have issued 80,000 shares so the remaining 20,000 shares are called unissued share capital each share price is 10 rupees this can be offered to general public at a later date so this is called as unissued capital now again under issued capital we have two divisions one is subscribed capital another one is unsubscribed capital subscribed capital means that the part of issued capital which has been subscribed by the public so in our example 80,000 shares issued to general public no so out of 80,000 only 60,000 shares were subscribed by the public Only 60,000 shares were subscribed by the public. So this amount is called subscribed capital. That is 60,000 shares into 10 each is equal to 6 lakhs. Okay, our authorized capital is 10 lakhs. And our issued capital is 8 lakhs. And our subscribed capital is 6 lakhs. Okay, so unsubscribed capital means the difference between issued capital and subscribed capital represents unsubscribed capital. So according to our example, 80,000 shares issued out of 80,000, 60,000 shares were subscribed by the public. The remaining 20,000 shares are there no Unsubscribed capital is 2 lakhs that is 20,000 shares of rupees 10 each. Then under subscribed capital again we have two divisions one is called up capital another one is uncalled capital so called up capital means uh, this refers to that part of the subscribed capital which has been called up by the company for payment according to our example 60,000 shares of rupees 10 each subscribed by the public out of 10 rupees so far the company have called up only 7 rupees that is 60,000 into 7 is equal to 4,20,000 this 4,20,000 is called called up capital so remaining the company had to receive 3 rupees from the public that is 10 rupees minus 3 rupees the 3 rupees is called uncalled capital so uncalled capital means it is a difference between subscribed capital and called up capital is equal to uncalled capital 60,000 into 3 rupees is equal to 1,80,000 is uncalled capital under called up capital again we have two divisions one is paid up capital another one is calls in arrears paid up capital means this refers to that part of called up capital which has been actually paid by the shareholder sometimes uh, some shareholder might have defaulted in paying a part of called up money such amount is known as calls in arrears according to our example one shareholder holding 500 shares 
500 shares fail to pay the call money okay the call money is 2 rupees per share okay then the paid up capital is only 4 lakhs 19,000 because we have to receive 4 lakh 20,000 from the public no so one shareholder holding 500 shares the final call value is 2 rupees failed to pay defaulted so you have to subtract that amount 500 into 2,000 rupees so 4 lakh 20,000 minus 1000 is equal to 4 lakh 19,000 this is the actual amount paid by the subscriber that is paid up capital the difference between called up capital and paid up capital is equal to calls in arrears that is the shareholder failed to pay 500 shares at 2 rupees no the 1000 rupees is called calls in arrears okay so paid up capital means the actual amount paid by the shareholder okay calls in arrears means the shareholder failed to pay some amount so that amount is called calls in arrears okay so called up capital minus paid up capital is equal to calls in arrears the last one is reserve capital which comes under uncalled capital so it is a portion of subscribed capital but not called up this will be utilized only at the time of winding up of a company that is liquidation so at the time of dissolving the company that time they can use this capital uh, in order to distribute this amount to creditors this is called as reserve capital these are the various terms used in connection with the capital of a company okay the first one is authorized capital under that issued and unissued under issue two divisions are there subscribed and unsubscribed under subscribed again we have two divisions called up and uncalled up under called up two divisions are there paid up and calls in arrears and the last one is reserve capital which comes under uncalled capital which can be utilized at the time of a dissolution of a firm issue of shares okay first let us see the model entry so issue of shares can be for the consideration other than cash and for the consideration of cash for other than cash we'll see later now let us see the second one that is issue of share for the consideration of cash so this cash can be uh, received in two types one is uh, uh, full amount can be uh, collected from the public in one installment uh, and second one is installment basis uh, so in that case uh, the amount will be received from the public on application and on allotment and first call second call and final call these are the various installment bases okay now let us see the model entry the first entry is when we receive application from the public we have to make the entry that is bank account data to share application this is the first step so public will apply uh, for the shares at that time the company will receive application money from the public so receipt of application money entry for the transaction is bank account data to share application and after receiving the application money this will be transferred to share capital okay then you have to make second entry that is transferred to share capital entry for the transaction is share application account data to share capital so you have to make two entries for each and everything okay the first one is uh, receiving application money and second one is transferring application money to share capital over application transaction is over then second one is after receiving application from the public the company will make allotment so according to certain basis they will make allotment so in that case first you have to make due entry that is allotment money due entry for the transaction is share allotment account data to share capital this is the entry for allotment money due then you have to make entry for allotment money received that is the entry is bank account data to share allotment this is the entry for receipt of allotment money okay for allotment you have to make two entries one is allotment money due and another one is allotment money received in the same way you have to make entry for first call second call and final call for call money due share first call account data to share capital for the second call share second call account data to share capital for the final call share final call account data to share capital for each and every call you have to make due entry and receipt entry okay so after making due entry the next entry is receipt of call money that is bank account data to share first call or second call or 
final call so according to the information you have to make these entries so we have seen the model entry simple entries for the transaction then next one is terms of issue so generally company can issue shares to general public at three different terms one is issue of shares at par at par means at the face value for example each share value is 10 rupees means the company can issue at the same price this is called as issue of shares at par and the next one is issue of shares at premium at premium means more than the face value for example according to our example each share price is 10 rupees no sometimes uh, uh, there will be more demand in such case the company can issue at premium premium means extra 1 rupee or 2 rupees or 3 rupees so that they can get the amount from the shareholders then the last one is issue of shares at discount discount means they have to issue at discount price for example example each share price is 10 rupees no okay so they have to give some discount for example they can issue 1 rupee as discount then the issue price is 9 rupees so the first one is issue price is 10 rupees and the second one issue at premium no rupees 12 that extra 2 rupees is called premium and the last one is 9 rupees so actual face value is 10 rupees now but you are issuing only 9 rupees that 1 rupee is called discount so the company can issue in three different terms of issue the first one at par at the same price premium excess price discount lesser than the face value so these are the three terms of issue so issue of shares at par means you need not make any changes you can follow the same model entry but when we issue shares at premium you have to mention the premium in the allotment itself in the same way when when the company issues shares at discount you have to mention the discount at the time of making entry for allotment let us see the journal entries entry for issue of shares at premium okay so premium means uh, you are issuing excess than or more than the face value that excess amount is called gain for the company that will be credited that is entry for the transaction is due entry is share allotment account data to share capital now look at the model entry if the company issues shares at par means this will be the entry share allotment account data to share capital and bank account data to share allotment but when the company issues shares at premium you have to make separate entry share allotment account data to share capital to security premium that excess 2 rupees you have to show here okay so then the again you have to make a received entry the same entry you can write bank account data to share allotment and then when the company issues shares at discount okay discount means it is a loss for the company so the loss will be debited so entry for the transaction is share allotment account data discount on issue of shares account data to share capital okay the discount 1 rupee you have to show debit side if it is premium that will be shown under credit side because it is a gain and this one is loss for the company so these are the model entries for different terms of issue now let us see one problem let us see the problem for issue of shares at par abc limited had an authorized capital of rupees 5 lakhs so the company can maximum raise 5 lakhs rupees from the public by way of issue of shares divided into shares of 100 rupees each so each share price is 100 rupees now then how many number of shares they can issue 5 lakhs divided by 100 rupees is equal to 5000 number of shares so authorized share capital is 5 lakhs how many number of shares they have 5000 number of shares so out of 5000 number of shares it offered to the public only 4000 shares payable as follows this one is issued share capital that is 4000 into 100 rupees is equal to 4 lakhs rupees no this 4 lakhs is called issued share capital so payable as follows so installment basis 30 rupees on application 20 rupees on allotment 25 rupees on first call and remaining 25 rupees on call all together total how much 30 plus 20 plus 25 plus 25 is equal to 100 each share price how much 100 rupees no so 100 rupees into 4000 is equal to 4 lakhs they can raise from the 
public. The shares were duly subscribed for by the public and all money was received. Okay, so the entire 4000 shares were subscribed by the public and all installment money were duly received from the public. So now they ask you to pass journal entries to record the above transaction. This is a simple problem. So you can use the model entry to record the transaction. The first installment is the company received 30 rupees on application. So entry for the transaction is bank account data to share application. Entry for the transaction is bank account data to share application. How much? 4000 shares offered to public. No, the entire 4000 shares were subscribed by the public. Then the company will receive 4000 shares into 30 rupees each. How much? 4000 into 30, 1 lakh 20,000. So, company received 1 lakh 20,000 from the public by way of issuing shares to public and after receiving application money the second one is transferring the application money to share capital and after making the entry you have to write the narration being application money received okay then second one is transfer the application money to share capital entry for the transaction is share application account data data to share capital so first installment is over how much 1 lakh 20 thousand you have received now the entire amount is transferred to share capital so first transaction is over again you have to write paying application money transferred to share capital and the next one is uh, after receiving application what is the second installment they have received 20 rupees on allotment so at the time of allotment the company can receive 20 rupees each for each and every share so 4000 into 20 rupees you can receive on allotment first you have to make allotment money due entry is share allotment account data account data to share capital this is the entry for allotment money due. So how much amount you are supposed to receive from the public? 4000 into 20 rupees. No. 80,000. This is the entry for allotment money due. Then you have to make entry for allotment money received. Entry bank account data to share allotment. The entire amount received from the shareholder. So you have to write narration for each and every journal entry. We have made entry for application money received and application money transferred to share capital. Then we have made allotment money due and we have made allotment money received. The next one is uh, the third installment is first call money. So you have to make due entry and received entry. Same thing. Share first call account data to share capital how much 25 rupees no so 4000 into 25 1 lakh this is first call money due now we have to make entry for first call money received what is the entry bank account data to share first call The entire amount received from the shareholder without any default. This one is the first call money due and this entry is call money received. In the same way, you have to make entry for second call also. Look at the problem. The second call is rupees 25 rupees. Seventh one, second call money due. So entry for the transaction is share second call account data to share capital. How much? 25 rupees each now. 4000 into 25, 1 lakh. Then the last one is second call. That is the final call money received from the shareholder. Entry for the transaction is bank account data to share second call account. How much? 
1 lakh. This is a simple problem. This problem is on issue of shares at par. At par means we have issued at the same face value. Okay. So according to this problem, 4000 shares offered by the company, the entire 4000 shares were subscribed by the public and all money were duly received without any calls in arrears. So this is a simple problem. We can see the issue of shares at premium and discount in separate video. Thank you.